Transformers 2007 The film begins with Optimus Prime, an Autobot, recounting the history of the AllSpark, a cube-shaped artifact with the power to animate ordinary electronic and mechanical objects, serving as the life source for all Transformers, including Autobots and the malevolent Decepticots. Their prosperous society takes a dark turn when Megatron betrays them, sparking a war over the AllSpark. The artifact is lost and eventually lands on Earth, an unknown planet, leading to the unfolding events. Fast-forwarding thousands of years to contemporary Earth, specifically Qatar, American soldiers station there go about their routine. Captain William Lennox, Josh Duhamel, connects with his family, but a previously thought-down helicopter transforms into the Decepticon Blackout and attacks the base. Blackout deploys a jamming field, disrupting all communication channels. Despite efforts to resist, the base is destroyed, with Blackout releasing Scorponok to hunt down survivors. In the United States, Sam Witwicky, Shia LaBeouf, attempts to sell his grandfather's memorabilia on eBay during what seems to be a class presentation. His grandfather, Archibald Witwicky, claimed to discover a frozen giant in the Arctic, leading to his later madness. Sam's antics upset his teacher, but he persuades him for an A grade. Sam plans to use the money to buy a car from his father, Ron Witwicky, Kevin Dunn. Sam's father playfully teases him at a Porsche dealership, but they end up at Bolivia's used car sales. Bobby Bolivia, Bernie Mac, attempts to sell Sam a car, but an unmanned yellow Camaro appears and catches Sam's interest. Despite budget constraints, Sam eventually secures the Camaro for $4,000 after a peculiar sonic pulse incident. At the Pentagon, Defense Secretary John Keller, John Voigt, assembles a team of analysts and scientists to identify the assailant responsible for the Qatar base attack. With no communication from survivors, they rely on the sound of the signal used to breach U.S. government computer networks. Maggie Madsen, Rachel Taylor, leads one of the teams in this investigative effort. Sam takes his car out for a drive and encounters Michaela Baines, Megan Fox, and the jocks she associates with. Initially, the jocks attempt to intimidate Sam, but his clever retorts about potential brain damage from football deflate their bravado. When Michaela leaves the jocks behind in frustration, Sam kicks his friend out of the car and offers her a ride. After a fumbling invitation, she reluctantly accepts. However, the car mysteriously stalls near a local makeout spot. To Sam's surprise, the Camaro starts playing Let's Get It On on the radio. Michaela, surprisingly knowledgeable about cars, inspects the engine and is impressed but finds no issues except for a loose distributor cap. She decides to walk home, and as she leaves, Sam pleads for the car to start. To his amazement, it does, playing Baby Come Back, and he gives Michaela a ride home. In Qatar, a local boy guides the surviving soldiers to his village to use a phone, unaware that they are being followed beneath the sand. Suddenly, Scorponok attacks, claiming the lives of the soldiers. Lennox manages to obtain a cell phone but needs a credit card to activate it. Epps provides the card, and Lennox, dealing with a comical Arab operator, calls in an airstrike on the village. I, Tin Warthogs bomb Scorponok after marking it with lasers, forcing it to retreat underground. Back in the Pentagon, attempts to alert the President aboard Air Force One are futile as Frenzy, disguised as a boombox, infiltrates the plane. Frenzy transforms, accesses the mainframe, and initiates a massive download, focusing on information about Archibald Witwicky and the secret government branch Sector 7 and their Project Iceman. Maggie detects the intrusion, prompting the Pentagon to take the network offline. Frenzy escapes Air Force One, killing several agents, and hops into a police car with a Decepticon sigil on its fender. Sam wakes to the sound of his car starting and discovers it in a local junkyard, transforming into the Autobot Bumblebee. Bumblebee signals into space with an Autobot sigil. The police, not believing Sam's story, arrest him. Maggie takes the top-secret file to her hacker friend Glenn Whitman, Anthony Anderson, who cracks the code before they are arrested by federal agents. After Sam's release, he finds his car has returned. Terrified, he flees on his mother's pink bicycle, pursued by Bumblebee. He crashes in front of Michaela, tells her about the robot, and flees again. When a police car arrives, Sam explains the situation, but it transforms into Decepticon Barricade, asking if he is Ladies Man 217 Sam's eBay ID. Sam runs into Michaela, 
and they're joined by Bumblebee, leading to a car chase. Bumblebee skillfully leads Barricade on a frenzied pursuit, ensuring the safety of the teenagers by diverting the Decepticons' attention. This sets the stage for a face-off between Bumblebee and Barricade. Amidst their battle, Barricade unleashes Frenzy, who relentlessly pursues the humans. As Bumblebee and Barricade clash, Michaela and Sam grapple with the resourceful Frenzy. In a moment of ingenuity, Michaela employs a Sawzall to sever Frenzy's head, prompting it to escape in a Waspinator-like fashion. With Barricade defeated, Bumblebee signals the humans to join him, using radio transmissions and songs to unveil his extraterrestrial origins. Unbeknownst to them, Frenzy's head scans Michaela's cell phone and transforms into it, concealing itself in her purse. As they speed down the street, Michaela questions, if he's such an advanced robot, why transform into this beat-up Camaro? Bumblebee abruptly stops, ejecting the kids. Sam jests, now you've upset him, witnessing Bumblebee's departure. Suddenly, Bumblebee performs a dazzling maneuver, scanning a passing car and transforming into a sleek new model Camaro, astonishing Sam and Michaela. They hop into Bumblebee, and the trio races away. Meanwhile, the authorities interrogate Maggie and Glenn, revealing that the signal pinpointed Project Iceman and the Witwickies. Defense Secretary Keller calls them for continued assistance. Epson and Lennox discover the vulnerability of the robots to high-temperature rounds while analyzing Scorpinox tail. The narrative shifts as meteors fall from the sky, unveiling Autobots emerging from stasis pots. Notably, Ironhide lands in a swimming pool, prompting a curious child to ask if he's the Tooth Fairy. Bumblebee leads the humans to the Autobots' rendezvous, introducing them to Optimus Prime, Ratchet, Jazz, and Ironhide. Optimus Prime elucidates the significance of the AllSpark, Megatron's pursuit, and the imminent threat of Decepticons using it to spawn a new army. Sam guides them to his home, where Autobots inadvertently wreak havoc. Amidst the chaos, Sam's mother aids in locating the eyeglasses imprinted with Cybertronian script. The Autobots surround the humans when Sector 7 attempts to apprehend them. Optimus Prime intervenes, compelling the release of Sam and Michaela. The agents are subdued, and Bumblebee humorously deals with Agent Simmons. Sector 7 alerts the military, leading to the capture of Bumblebee, Sam, and Michaela. They are taken to Hoover Dam, revealing Project Iceman the frozen Megatron. Sam, aware of the danger, tries to warn about the AllSpark. However, Frenzy's escape and activation of the AllSpark trigger a global response from Decepticots. The Autobots, informed of the AllSpark's location, also converge on Hoover Dam. Optimus Prime prepares for a sacrificial act to prevent the Decepticons from obtaining the AllSpark. Frenzy successfully disrupts the cryo controls holding Megatron in stasis, initiating his awakening. Sam, with assistance from Lennox, convinces Keller that Bumblebee is an ally who can assist against Megatron. Reactivating Bumblebee, they transform the AllSpark into a more portable form and escape from the dam, taking a stand in a nearby town. Meanwhile, Megatron awakens and confronts Starscream, expressing disappointment in his failure. As Megatron and Starscream join the Decepticons to secure the AllSpark, Frenzy remains at the dam to handle loose ends. In an ancient storage room, Agent Simmons, Secretary Keller, Maggie, and Glenn Whitman attempt to send a Morse code message. Frenzy follows them, launching flying blades at the group. However, one blade ricochets uncontrollably, resulting in Frenzy's decapitation and demise. Simultaneously, the Autobots encounter Bone Crusher on the highway, with Optimus engaging him in battle. The confrontation leads them over a high overpass, where Optimus prevails, using a long sword blade to defeat Bone Crusher. In the town, defenses are disrupted by Megatron's arrival, with Devastator and Blackout causing havoc. Starscream injures Bumblebee, and Lennox orders Sam to take the AllSpark to the highest building for evacuation. Amidst the chaos, Optimus Prime challenges Megatron, leading to a fierce battle. Jazz takes on Megatron but meets a swift demise. Sam accidentally releases a burst of the AllSpark's energy, animating nearby machines that attack humans. Optimus arrives, declaring the iconic phrase, One shall stand, one shall fall, engaging Megatron. Megatron overpowers Optimus, continuing his pursuit of Sam. On top of the building, Sam attempts to reach the helicopter, but it is destroyed before he can deliver the cube. 
Megatron offers Sam survival as his pet in exchange for the Allspark, but Sam refuses. Megatron attacks, causing Sam to fall. Optimus intervenes, catching Sam and safeguarding both the boy and the Allspark. No.